All right, everybody. So here we are, the last day of July, 2022. Hi, okay, so we're gonna look around this place. I'm not lying. Oh, I'm just recording. Okay. Um, I think we've asked ourselves a few times, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> yes, as you can see, our house is dated. So let's go around. With, we're gonna do before and after. Let's do it. All right, so for now, here's the kitchen. Near-term projects. We have dolphins. We're cleaning, that's why the cabinet's open. Doing lots of cleaning, so we're gonna paint the cabinet. We're gonna repurpose the cabinets because they're good quality. Yeah, and they're shakers. Um, but we're gonna change the hardware, put some new modern hardware in there. Uh, mm -hmm. Paint these all white. Yes. And I then, just cleaned them, that's why it's wide open and has to dry so we can line it. We'll get some stainless a stainless steel refrigerator and a stove, and then we're going to get some backsplash along the back there too. Yeah. Um, we'll get the backsplash there, um, so that it can complement the white cabinets with the black countertops. Which down the road, this is probably be one of the last projects we do because these are very nice countertops. They're just black. We do not really found in the black. Yep. But they are really good quality countertops, though. Yeah. Um, one of the big projects is what we're standing on. Um, this is a wood parquet floor, very popular in the 80s. Yep. Uh, we're going to. When you flip in a house, it's not glamorous, so you have to excuse everything that's in the way, but it's not going to stay like this, that's um, for sure. We're going to replace it with the big 24 by 24 tiles. Throughout the for throughout most of the home. Mm -hmm. um, what is nice in here? We do like the one feature that they have here. We really like is the um, patterns that's on here with the trim. We really like the trim work in here, so it's nice. It adds a little elegance to it. <laughs> we got a project on our hands, but I do like the crown molding. So this is probably going to be the biggest project. Yeah. Um, do you see that? Outside of, we got to paint everything. They balance over there. Painting and decorating and all that stuff. Got to go. So, here we go. So, this is probably the worst part of the house. Um, in other people's units like this, it was a closet here. And then it was a closet here. And another closet right here. So, they got rid of all this closet space and put this giant swimming pool in the middle of our bedroom. Um, Mr. Traveler keep calling it a swimming pool, it makes me laugh. I mean, it's huge, right? It's so, pretty big, yeah. Um, the deal that we got on this place, you couldn't beat it because of this right here. So, game plan is this closet behind you, right here. Um, we're going to take and expand this closet out this way. And back here where the tub was, we're gonna get rid of this big giant tub. And so this space right here will become a walk-in closet that will still be accessible from that door in there. Toilet room back there, water room, That's, be, but the door is closed. Yeah, there'll be a new cabinet. That cabinet is so huge and monstrosity. <laughs> um, this is what we don't know yet because we have to figure out what the cost is going to be. Mm -hmm. um, one of two things we can do. We're going to leave the footprint like it is with the shower. It's very nice and this is very thick, expensive glass. Um, but we're going to have to rip out all of the um, tile work and the shower heads and redo it. So we'll retile this, and it's got like 15 shower jets in here. We're gonna get rid of all that. Just have a shower head and a rain head in there. Um, so that's option one. Option two is to expand the shower up to where the end of the walk-in closet will be to make a really big shower. Um, we just gotta see if that fits in the budget or not. So then obviously this will be new tile in here. Mm -hmm and new tile in there. If we don't expand the shower, then we'll make like a um, 
probably a full length mirror right here and have like a little settee or something right here um, across from the vanity. So this is probably the biggest project and probably the first thing that we'll tackle. Let's keep going. Where to next? Um, this is a den. Office slash den. So what this used to be was a second bedroom. This used to be a wall. And we didn't do this, the previous owners did. So they cut this wall out and made a den area, which is, I think, okay. It's nice. The problem to me is that the second bedroom, which is now on the side of this wall, has no window. So there's, it's very dark. There's no light in there, no natural light. So what we're thinking of doing is um, putting in some glass punch doors right here. Uh, for the second bedroom so that they can get the natural light from the patio door mm -hmm. and then Putting another set of French doors right here. Yes to close off the office space. So a Couple of different things. So if you're in the office and need privacy, you can close this door do your work, right? Um, if we're just home by ourselves, we can have it open and free-flowing if we have guests come over We can close this and give them privacy to go out to the patio um, without interfering with us, so. That's our front door right there. To go to the outside. We also gonna change those sconces. So this like is the- Like funeral sconces. That's the second bedroom. The previous owner left all this stuff here. I don't know what it is. So the- it's two closets in here. The front doors room. we're looking at would be like right here in this room. Mm -hmm. And probably have to set up the bed this way, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Or a murky bed. With the with the French doors right there so that people can come in and out. Yep. And the last thing is the small bed bathroom. Nothing so dated. You know, nothing extravagant in here outside of We got a midnight special going on. <laughs> just a regular little bathroom in here. So this is just gonna be very simple. It'll be just new, right? So new. <laughs> I was trying to turn off the red light special. There you go. So new, new countertop, bathtub, and and toilet. So mm -hmm. nothing real special here. It'll just be modernized. And then that's it. And the laundry room. Mm -hmm. and you know what I did with the laundry room? In the last house. This is my new project. All right. And we got some cabinets. <coughs> oh my God, that's first thing. That's it. Then, press All done. done. So welcome to the after version of the condo. Uh, one of the issues that we had here with this particular condo that we didn't know is that you cannot get an owner permit. So in other words, uh, they force you to get a contractor to do renovation work here. So we were very limited on what we could do in the time frame that we were here. Uh, but as you can see here in the living room, uh, one thing that we did do is painted this beautiful shade of blue. I love the color here, uh, accents the water outside the window uh, very well. So we painted all the walls in the main space in the living room and uh, the office area. And as we make our way over to the dining room area here, you can see that we did do a uh, new chandelier in this space. Got rid of the old dated chandelier. Um, as you can see in the background in the kitchen, uh, of course we painted all the walls and ceilings here in this area. Uh, in the kitchen, we refinished the cabinets and put new hardware on there as well. We have a uh, beautiful backsplash that uh, blends the black and the white together. We purchased new stainless steel appliances and updated the hardware on the sink as well. We also installed very elegant new lighting into the ceiling in the kitchen. And Miss Traveler saw a door similar to this in a new construction home and tasked me with finding a door similar to it for the pantry and the laundry room. And as you can see, I was successful in my mission.
So one area that we didn't get to that we really wanted to tackle was this flooring in here. Uh, but again, without the being able to get an owner's permit for the work, uh, it would have added an additional ten to fifteen thousand dollars onto the cost for permitting and for a contractor. So I think our biggest success in this condo was this office area. Uh, outside of the floor, we took a lot of work on the ceiling, refinishing the ceiling and also refinishing the wainscoting around the base of the room. Um, we can also see that we put a nice hutch in there that's actually not a built-in. Uh, just so happened to find a desk at Restoration Hardware that was the exact same dimensions as the office area and I think it looks beautiful in the space. It really is light and airy, and it was a really nice place to uh, spend your work day. And one thing to note, when you live in such a hot and sunny area like we do in Florida, uh, it's very important to pick the right floor. If you can see this floor that was here uh, when we bought the place, Look how faded it is just from the sunlight coming in the window or the uh, door wall right there. So very important to pick the right kind of flooring that can withstand the light. So we were able to install this beautiful French door into the office area um, that goes directly from the second bedroom into the office and is located directly across from the door wall there. So what this does is it allows beautiful natural light to flow into the bedroom, uh, which beforehand was very, very dark space. Living directly off the water like this too, uh, a lot of upkeep on the windows and outside of the property. So something to keep in mind if you live off the water, you have to clean these windows like every few days or you get these uh, salt salty spots on them um, every few days and we'll take a look into the second bedroom not a lot done in here outside of the door wall say hello to snowball he's working hard there um, yeah we really didn't do a lot of work in here um, we planned on making this a guest bedroom uh, but we just did not get that done uh, prior to selling the property. And here is my nemesis in the whole condo. Um, as you can see, we were able to uh, rip out the swimming pool out of the bath bathroom area. And we also put in a new vanity. Um, again, we didn't get to do the renovations uh, that we wanted to do due to not having been able to get an owner's permit for the work in here. Um, to renovate this entire condo with the options that we wanted to go with, um, if I did the work was going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of $20,000 uh, to have a contractor come in and do this work. We were looking somewhere in the neighborhood of fifty dollars to $60,000 for the contractor work and the permitting. And my other find for the door there is the frosted laundry door. I did find both of these doors at the Home Depot and they are items that you can order online, especially to order and pick up at your local Home Depot. We really love the doors. They were a beautiful addition to the home. 
Um, so that's about it. The laundry room and this back bathroom, we didn't really do a, a whole lot of work to. The main focus was on the living room and the office area within the condo. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you're feeling generous. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Live your dreams. Blame your lifestyle. Take care. Bye, everyone.